My name is Vishnu Gopal TV. I'm a legal intern at Lexus and Company. I'm from Corporate School of Law, Kerala, and I am a third year student pursuing BBA LLB honors. Uh, so uh, today's topic for this video is Freedom to Form Association. So the purpose of this video is to speak about the increasing, as uh, speak about this uh, freedom of uh, association. Uh, which has been guaranteed under uh, this article uh, 19 clause uh, 1c so article 19 clause 1c guarantees all citizens the right to form associations and unions the right guaranteed under article uh, 19 clause 1c is not merely uh, the right to form associations but also the right to continue with the association so it implies it also implies the freedom to join or not to join any association so we have to look into the right to form association which is being guaranteed under article 19 clause 1 c of the indian constitution and we'll also have to look into the reasonable restrictions guarantee uh, reasonable restrictions imposed upon this right which has been mentioned in article 19 clause 4 so we have to also uh, look into some of the important case laws under this article so in one of the famous case that is uh, the Menti versus Union of India. So here the validity of this Hindu Sahitya Sammelan uh, Act uh, in 1962 was challenged as validity of Article 19 Clause C, 19 Clause 1 C of the Indian Constitution. So the petitioner was a member of an association um, uh, when he or when, uh, or who then introduced the new members uh, or then introduced new members which changed the composition of the association. So the result of this alteration was that the members who voluntarily formed the association were not compelled to act in the association with the other members and their right to continue in the association was challenged. So the court here held that it was a clear violation of Article 19, Clause 1 C, uh, that is the right to form association, which also includes the right to continue in that association. So that's about that case, uh, the Mendi versus Union of India. So the restriction of the of freedom of as, uh, this association is mentioned in Article 19, Clause 4. So here it is been held that the freedom of association is restricted on the ground of public morality, um, sovereignty and integrity of India and on the ground of morality. So Article 19 Clause 1C is a fundamental right which has been guaranteed to all the citizens and is having its own relevance. And no act can be done which violates the such fundamental rights of the citizens. So now we can also look uh, to some of the related case laws uh, under this Article 19 Clause 1C. So in a case, Haji Muhammad versus District Court Madala, here uh, a restriction requiring um, a teacher to take prior permission to engage in political activity is a reasonable restriction. So it aimed at teachers uh, preventing from getting mixed up with the, uh, the uh, political institutions. So that's one important case. So another uh, important case is Balakotia versus Union of India. So here service of appellant was terminated under railway service rules for being a member of communist party and a trade unionist. And the appellant argued that Terminating him from the service amounts to violation of his fundamental right to form association guaranteed under Article 19, Clause 1C. But the court held that terminating him from service does not amount to violation of this uh, his right guaranteed under Article 19, Clause 1C. So because the order did not prevent the appellant from continuing in Communist Party or as a trade unionist. So therefore, uh, it is understood that this Article 19 Clause 1C, it guarantees all citizens the right to form, uh, form associations even uh, it has a reasonable restriction as mentioned under Article 19 Clause 4. So hence, uh, we have looked into the details of this Article 19 Clause 1C as well as the reasonable restriction under Article 19 Clause 4 and some of the important case laws. So, uh, 
so that's all about my topic so you can uh, subscribe and comment on my video like it and also uh, do like and subscribe our youtube channel let's click and please give me a feedback regarding this video and if you have any questions related uh, to this video you may please may comment that question in the comment box i will be replying as soon as possible so this video does not solicit any type of promotion uh, or advertisement as per the guidelines of bar council of india and the sole purpose of this video is for educational purposes only so by saying these words i am concluding thank you